When choosing to go green, most Oregonians focus on the outdoors, but have you thought of going green inside your home? The Oregon Environmental Council wants to help you check your home for pollutants commonly found in households that can trigger asthma, allergies, chronic disease, and other negative health effects. So we created an Eco Healthy Homes checklist to help you identify simple steps you can take to minimize exposure to harmful chemicals. We followed two families as they inspected their homes using our checklist. Here's what we found. Okay, in the bathroom. I'm not supposed to have any chlorine bleach. I wasn't aware of the chlorine in the cleaning products, and when we went through that and we really looked at the ingredients, um, that was pretty surprising. I was most surprised at the Teflon pans because I didn't realize that once they're scratched at all that you need to completely get rid of them. The checklist helped me understand what all of the numbers on the plasticware mean for recycling, like the one, two, three, four, five. I really need to cut down on the amount of plastic that I used in containers and in um, storage uh, containers in the kitchen, that kind of thing. You have to be sort of conscientious and not just do it once and then do it again 10 years later, but probably on an ongoing basis, kind of take a, a survey of your home to see um, areas in which you have unnecessary products or harmful products. Luckily, we found at least one healthy asset in the kitchen in the form of the stove fan. It passed the tissue test, which means it promotes air circulation in the house. Definitely did. I thought it very small, kind of incremental changes that you can make. You don't have to do it all at the same time. You don't have to do it, um, you know, uh, make a wholesale change in your home. I thought it was, gave you great little tips that you could just kind of, you know, continue to pluck away at as you made changes in your household. I mean, it's a great reminder to all of us to, to be aware of this stuff and to just sort of um, put healthier practices in our everyday lives when it comes to, you know, creating a more eco-friendly home.